In this short video, we'll see how GS1 Digital Link makes consumer engagement easy while still performing the supply chain and retail functions on which industry depends. As we all know, products have to fight for attention on the shelf, and in our connected world, consumers expect to be able to find out any information they want. Pretty well every shopper in the store has their own scanner with them at all times, and if they want to find out more about a product, we'd better make it easy for them. In this case, our shopper is checking that the product she's interested in is gluten-free. She knows that the QR code on the pack was put there by the manufacturer and therefore will help her to find information from the original source. Or maybe she's looking for a bargain from the retailer. This time, she scans exactly the same code but using the retailer's app. That gives the retailer an insight into her shopping interests and, as a reward, she gets a discount coupon for that particular product, perhaps because it's close to its expiry date. Then she chooses to pop the item in her trolley. That QR code is special. It not only links to manufacturer's information, it not only links to retailer's information, it also works at the checkout just like GS1 barcodes have done since 1974. And that's where the GS1 story used to end. Not anymore. Back home, our shopper can scan that barcode again with her phone and choose a different link, perhaps to some delicious recipe ideas from the manufacturer. So what just happened? The QR code contains a single, static and persistent web address that contains a globally unique identifier, the GTIN. When scanned by the phone's camera, or general purpose QR scanner, on any smartphone, this web address is sent to a browser, showing the exact web page that the brand has decided to direct the consumer to. This puts the complete consumer experience of scanning an on pack code directly in the hands of the brand that makes the product, just as it should be. Now, when specific apps are used, instead of the camera function or generic QR scanner, something else happens. In this case, we see a retailer app that replaces the domain name in the web address with its own. Everything else stays the same, and that leads to the page for the product on the retailer's website. If the QR code includes the batch lot number, the retailer may be able to add more specific information, such as traceability details or a special offer for that particular batch that's about to be replaced. This is all possible because the GTIN, the batch lot identifier and more can all be included in and extracted from the standardized GS1 digital link web address. That extraction can be carried out by point-of-sale scanners too, without an online lookup, before passing on the data in exactly the same way as happens today. There are hundreds of other opportunities for apps and scanners to build value on top of this single barcode, because it's designed to enable any party, from consumer to warehouse clerk, to connect to information that's important to what they want to do right then. We've seen a single barcode on a pack that can be read using just a camera phone with no specialist app that takes you straight to the manufacturer's information about the product. We've seen what can happen when you scan the same code with, say, a retailer's app or a specialist app like one for recipe ideas. And these can happen at any time before or after that same barcode does what it's best known for, going beep at the checkout because it contains a globally unique GS1 identifier, the GTIN. What was once a single-purpose code that was only of use to the retailer can now serve the needs of the consumer, provide valuable insights, transparency and authoritative data to the retailer, and allows the brand to represent the product exactly as they want. Everyone benefits. We call this GS1 Digital Link.